Hey everyone, welcome back to Turtle Code. Today, we are deploying a Flask app on Vercel. If we have a Flask project and want to put it online for free, Vercel is a great option. By the end of this video, our Flask app will be live on the internet with a public URL that we can share with anyone. Sounds exciting, right? Let's get started. You can support us and get early access to our daily videos by joining the channel. We'd love to have you as part of our community. All right, first, let's take a look at our app.py file. This is our Flask app. We start by importing Flask, then create an instance of it. We define a simple route that just returns hello Vercel. Finally, we run the app if this file is executed directly. Pretty simple, right? Now let's check out the requirements.txt file. This is where we list all the dependencies our app needs. We add Flask because, well, it's a Flask app. And we also add Gunnycorn, which is a lightweight WSGI server that helps run our app smoothly on Vercel. Next, we have Vercel.json. This file tells Vercel how to deploy our app. The build section says, hey Vercel, use Python to handle this app.py file. The route section makes sure that all requests go to app.py so our Flask app works correctly. This setup makes deployment super easy. All right, now let's get our code on GitHub. Let's open GitHub Desktop and create a new repository called Deploy Flask App App. This is basically a storage space where our project will live online. Now, let's click the Publish Repository button. To make sure the code is publicly accessible, we need to uncheck the Keep This Code Private option before publishing. Great! Now our project is on GitHub, and we're ready to deploy it to Vercel. Now that we have our GitHub repository, it's time to upload our Flask project. Since we haven't pushed the files from GitHub Desktop yet, let's manually upload them. Click on Add File, Upload Files, and select app.py, vercel.json, and requirements.txt. Once the files are uploaded, scroll down and click Commit Changes to save everything in the repository. Now our Flask project is fully stored on GitHub and ready for deployment. Now it's time to deploy our Flask app on Vercel. Let's open Vercel's website and go to the pricing page. Here, we select the hobby plan, which is free, and click Start Deploying. Now, let's log into our GitHub account and connect it to Vercel. Select the Deploy Flask API project and click Install. Then we select the Deploy Flask App Repository and click Import. Once the project is imported, let's click the Deploy button and wait for Vercel to do its magic. After a few moments, the deployment is complete. Now let's click Continue to Dashboard, copy the domain URL, and paste it into our browser. The Flask app is now live on the internet. Uh-oh, looks like we can't send a GET request to slash API. But no worries, we can fix this together. Let's go back to GitHub and open the app.py file. Now let's add a new route. Great, now let's commit these changes and push them to GitHub. Next, let's switch over to Vercel. Click on the Deployments tab and we can see that our latest update is already detected. Now let's redeploy the project to apply the changes. Once the deployment is complete, let's open the browser and send a GET request to slash API. And there it is. It works. Now, our Flask app has an API endpoint that we can access. If you found this helpful, make sure to check out my other videos on Flask, Django, and Python projects. There's so much more to explore. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy coding.